I'm going to ask you to do something today. I'm going to ask you to raise your hand as we're doing exercises. When you feel your voice flipping into head voice, I'm going to ask you to raise your hand. Not just so that you are paying attention to what's happening in your own voice. So when you feel the flip happen, just raise your hand as we're doing these. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
to switch. If you have one that works for you, you don't have to switch. I'm just kind of doing it to demonstrate. <laughs> If you, if you want to and are willing to try it, I think switching is good only because it, it might sort of uncover something that you need help with, so feel free to switch if you want to. With all of these exercises, there is a sort of a, um, a learning curve or a progress curve, so you might find that one or more of them when you first try it you can't do it or it's difficult or you can only do it low and then as we go higher you can't what i encourage you to do is to kind of keep at it don't don't strain or hurt yourself anytime it feels uncomfortable or like you're straining stop but i do think it's something that can be learned or improved upon little by little it can be it's an incremental and a slow learning learning to um, operate our vocal mechanism is a slow process it's not something that can be learned quickly the muscles have to be trained it's like learning a learning good form in a sport or any any other analogy you want to think of anyway so if you find that one of these is difficult just do do as much of it as you can and then drop out and then try little by little to add a note or add two notes or whatever over time and be patient with yourself okay <laughs> I'm sort of a I'm sort of a living example on this one because I could not do the raspberry for a long time. I had to gradually work up to it. like your voice is changing gears every few notes that's correct that's what our voices do that's what they're meant to do so there's slight adjustments that that the muscles are trying to make every few every few notes okay five note scale on ng with your mouth closed mm -hmm. thinking ng
here's one that can work not only first thing before your voice has had any activity, but also if you find that that these these exercises are too rangy, if they go up too high too quickly, you could do something like this. I'm just on a single note. Uh, so I'm doing a vocal fry into NG, which covers kind of two really important things. The fry gets the chords to meet and the NG gets the nasopharynx involved or the soft palate area. So just on a single note. That way you're not fighting range you're just getting your you're just getting your voice going it's like starting an old car engine just gently gently getting the voice going without having to fight um range uh, mm. i don't know about you but but sometimes in the morning my voice feels like an old car engine Okay, let's try this. I know this is going to be a little strange for some of you, but it's a glass of wa with, with water down at the bottom. Don't fill it up all the way because then the water will splash out. But water down at the bottom and a straw. If you don't have this handy, don't worry about it. Just watch this time and then, you know, have, what, have it for next time. So this has to do with, with resistance and focusing our, our air. So this exercise works really well for some people and not well for other people. Just, just experience it as best you can. We're gonna blow a little bit of air into the water first and then sing a note like, let's pick, let's pick an easy note for now. So it'll be like this, air first and then, and then tone. So get the air going and then the sound. And then we'll go up a tone. This helps some people focus their air. It's, it provides extra resistance or back pressure. So for people for whom the air is escaping too rapidly, this helps to focus the air. And for some people, this helps them with certain vocal problems. It's it's it doesn't work the same way for everybody. Some people have a heck of a time doing it, like the the singing through a straw and the back pressure is like you know too arduous. Now let's start doing a scale. I have a really hard time with it in my in my mix register. Oh sorry. Now let's try up higher in the falsetto or head voice department. Anybody, anybody feeling like the straw is helping them, like their voice works better with the straw? Yeah, a couple of you. So just experiment with that. You can do all the exercises that we do without the straw. You can do with the straw and just see if, particularly if you're doing it without the straw and you run into a rough spot, 
where it feels like your voice is not working well, try immediately in that same spot on that same exercise, try with the straw and the water and see if that doesn't help you. And doing it with the straw uh, for a period of time over and over again can train the muscles and then you take the straw away and you might find that that passage is now easier without the straw. So you use the straw as a as a helper, particularly when you're struggling without the straw. Okay, let's try this. Um, vocal fry into falsetto descending. Uh, so this will be low for the ladies, and we'll go down, and then we'll come back up. mostly for the men at the moment. Uh, don't let it flip into chest voice. some strange sounds in our vocal warm-ups. Uh, now let's start in the middle and go up for the ladies to join in. it's too easy to stay in head voice so that the exercise loses its effectiveness. Okay, now let's do this. Let's start low in chest voice and slide up to, to uh, something in high register like this. Uh, ooh, try it. Uh, ooh, again. Try to go a little bit higher each time. Uh, now try sustaining for a few seconds on the high note. Uh, again. Uh, Good. Do you feel warmed up? You probably are. Let's start with Hey Jude, and I'm gonna use um, the rehearsal tracks quite a bit today, and we'll, uh, we'll discuss if we think they are effective. Give me just a second to get everything situated on my screen. So many windows open. Hopefully the tracks will be useful because you'll be hearing a group sing and also I can layer and unlayer them to add parts as needed. Let me get rid of all this. Let's go to the end and kind of work backwards. So let's go from bottom of 10, uh, sorry, bottom of eight. Is that a good place to start? Sorry, middle of seven, measure 43 where the na 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 start. Let me see what I've got here. Let me turn this down. Sorry, friends. It's a lot of tracks here. Try 
back. And voices, let's see here. I'm going to turn the small group off for the moment. Turn the master volume down. Do you see where I am? I'm just before 43. Here it comes. Sorry. Here it comes. Before I go too much further, how's the volume? Is it too loud, too soft, or just right? Okay, I don't want it to be distorted, but I want it to be loud enough to be helpful. Okay, let's let's isolate the um, the baritone, which is the tenors and the basses. Here we go. <laughs> that much again so Dave obviously you're gonna sing the low G whenever whenever you choose sing the low G nah let me get that piano sound up here hmm. so hang on let me add a piano real quick thought I had one piano So those of you with low bass voices, you have the you have the choice every time instead of going na na na, you can go na. Yeah, here it comes again uh, all the basses and tenors. Top of eight. So at the end there at 54, the top part is Hey Jude, and the bottom part, Hey Jude, and the rhythm is Jude, Hey Jude, or Jude, Hey Jude. That's measure 54. Can I hear the altos in the same section? So rolling into 43 altos. Let me turn off the baritones and turn on the altos. Here comes altos. So it's a little bit hard to hear on the track, but the, the alto starts way down here. Na, na, na. So I am 43. Down in the basement for altos and sopranos, kind of kind of low. But they had to do it that way because it gets high later. Here comes again altos. Here's your starting note. Let's try it 
try altos and baritones together. Same spot. Soprano, same section, please. A while back, maybe 10 years ago or 15 years ago, they released a recording of Paul McCartney's late wife, Linda, singing this section live in concert. She sometimes would sing background vocals for him and play tambourine. And they released a recording and it was just awful, like not totally off key and off rhythm. And apparently he knew that she wasn't a good singer, but he just wanted her to be part of the band. So he would have her on stage and she got to be part of the act, but it was kind of mean whoever, whoever recorded it and then released it. But Okay, here's 43 Sopranos. So a couple of those notes might surprise you. This one na, 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 might not be what you expect. And then hey Jude might not be what you expect. And then probably this hey Jude at the end. That's like a choir version. Um, hey Sopranos, I don't have permission to do this from the Pentagon, but I'm gonna say if this note's too low for you, na, 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 I'm going to say it's okay to do this. Na, 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 na. That very first note of the phrase, take it up an octave. I'd rather you, I'd rather you sing it up an octave and be heard than, sing, you know, try to sing this. And some of you probably, that note's too low. So sopranos, you could do this at 43. Let me see here, 43. You could go two, three. And na 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 na, just like Dave and some others are gonna go. They're gonna sing way down the octave. Okay, let's try all the parts together. See how we do. Maybe the, maybe I'm making this too hard. So everybody starts here or bass is here, rolling into forty three. So that gets us up through 54, okay? And then it's a lot of repeated material to the end, but let's just check it to make sure. Here's 55 for the baritones. Let me turn off alto and soprano. Here's 55. Uh, hey Jude, hey Jude. 55. Na, 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 na. So every time the tenors do this, hey Jude, 
the baritones are gonna go, hey Jude. And then at the very end, <laughs> at the very end where the tenors have Jude, the baritones have, or the basses have Jude. Okay, so let's go back to 55. This time I'm gonna play the, the baritone part that has the lower notes. So tenors, you're kind of going to be kind of on your own. Here's rolling into 55. Uh, hey Jude. Oh, sorry, let me put, turn this track on. Here it comes. Uh, hey Jude, hey Jude. 55. Hey Jude, hey Jude. Na, na, Okay, turning off the baritone, turning on the alto, same spot. Fifty-five. At the end there, altos, you've got two choices. You've got Jude or Jude. Doesn't really matter, they're both in the chord, so pick the one that you want. Baritones and altos, please. At rolling into 55. Uh, hey Jude, hey Jude. Na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. What you do in choir practice today? Well, I sang three words, na, hey, and jude. That's all I did. Okay, sopranos, let me hear you at the same spot and then we'll put it all together. Uh, hey, jude, hey, jude. Na, na. Gotta love that line, sopranos. Hey, hey, jude. And then, na, jumping down two octaves. So that's a place where you could, if you wanted to sing that G up an octave. Hey Jude, na, na, na. Whatever works for you. If you're able to get the low G to come out, that's great. Here comes soprano. Uh, hey Jude, hey Jude. So that's how they determined the key that this arrangement should be. And they, they, the, the arranger wanted that high G in there. So then the low note had to be a G also because of the key. Okay, let's go back now, please. Um, to middle of seven, measure 43. And we'll do this whole ending section with all the parts. And then we'll talk about what you need. I'm going to roll it at 42. But all the parts will be in at this point. Better, better, better. That appears to be here's here is forty-two. Uh, hmm. Let me go back a little bit. Give you two measures. Better, 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 better. Uh, and na 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 na. Fifty-five. 
on this section I get that it's repetitive I get that it's like the record but there's a couple of tricky spots that are arranged you know for choir that might not be like the record how are you doing on this section that's like the third of the song we just reviewed any questions any requests okay. yeah Paul I got a question if you look at measure 061 and anytime that comes up I believe that there's no tie between the half note and the last quarter. It seems to be everybody is making a space there. Yeah, so there's a breath, there's a breath in 61, there's a breath in 62. In fact, I can go through and let me give you the breaths that Jonathan gave me. I'll just make it official. Go back to page seven. And the last measure, bottom of seven, we're going to breathe before the word hey. Na 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 na, breathe, hey Jude. So a breath in measure 45 before the word hey. The way, the way it's commonly notated, if you want to know, can you see my screen where there's a little comma? before the word hey that's a that's a, a common way to indicate a breath is a comma on the staff okay na 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 breath hey jude the next one is in 49 middle of 8 measure 49 right before the word hey take a breath there also these breaths are on the rehearsal tracks. Just FYI, the singers, the singers observed these breaths. Uh, okay, the next one is top of nine, measure um, 53, same place before the word hey. Top of nine, measure 53. And then in the very next measure, 54, after the word Jude. So we go na 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 na, breath. Hey Jude, breath. Hey Jude. It's kind of the natural places, but it's good that we're talking about it. So 54 right after Jude. Then top of 10, measure 57 before the word hey. And then in the very next measure, 58 after the word Jude. There's a breath there too. Sorry, this is a little bit tedious, but we'll only have to do it one time. Next place is top of 11, 61. That's the one Dave was referring to. 61 right before the word hey, and then 62 right after Jude. Okie doke. Because of time, let's move on to another song. Let's move on to Stairway to Heaven. All 70s rock all the time. KSGC, coming to you live, Mundelein. Here we go, Stairway to Heaven. I got to do the same thing here, launch the session. You guys are troopers. To show up every Friday and rehearse this way and put up with me and stick with the learning process, which at times might be challenging. It shows depth of character. When, when, people, when people sign up to be in Sounds Good, the first question we should ask is, how deep is your character? Because you're going to need some. 
we don't care if you're a nut job. We don't care if you can sing. We want to know, do you have character? Because you're going to be, it's going to be called upon. Okay. Stairway to heaven. Let's do the same thing. Let's go, let's go, um, let's work back to front. So we're starting to get a sense of what the song ends like. Um, let's just do one page at a time. So we'll start at 73. Do I have a piano sound? I do. Let me get it parked here and find the right volume for everybody. 72. Let me see where I am. Here's the track. try starting with the with the baritones I should start with the basses let me see to be rock and not to roll. Uh, so I'm rolling into top of 15 and we'll start rehearsing at 73 ah uh, 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 just the basses to be rock and not to roll. here comes 73 uh, stuff that happens on the next page but we'll worry about that in a minute just the just the base is same place rolling into 73 to be a rock and not to roll For now, I'm not going to worry about the middle part, and I'm just going to jump to the tenor, and we'll go back and do the middle. So here's the tenors at the same place. To the rock and not to roll. sing any real words today in choir no nope we sang the word hey and the word jude and then we everything else was either a na or an ah it's really satisfying i did do a recording session once there's a there's a um there's an organization called sight and sound theater they have a they have a big theater in uh, hershey pennsylvania and another one in branson and they do they do epic live productions of biblical stories and it's like Cecil B. DeMille but live and like for example they they have they did a show called Noah and they you know they had an ark on stage and they made it flood and they had you know hundreds of live animals and like it's just everything completely over the top and the set the uh there's the singers sing to tracks but they they um, the tracks are fully orchestrated. They, they go to Prague and pay an orchestra to, to perform the tracks and they hire studio singers to sing the, the choral part. So the people are on stage singing, but there's, there's voices coming through on the track to make it sound bigger and to make it consistent every night after night. So I got hired to sing on one of those and it was a week long session, like 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. every day. And all we sang the whole week was ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, for eight hours a day on all these songs and and a lot of it was whole tone scales um, bum, 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 bum. like it wasn't normal scales the whole thing was sort of cinematic but not a single word for like you know 40 hours of singing we were we were all laughing like Okay, lunch break, we come back, sing ooh and ah for six more hours. 
Um, but you know, it's part of the soundtrack and it fit, it fit the story, but it was, there were no words. Okay. Here comes, what are we on? Tenors. To the rock and not to roll. I know what I was going to say. If you're a tenor and a certain phrase of a certain song is too high for you, it's okay to drop down to the middle part or the bass part for that one phrase and then go back up. Similarly, if you're a soprano and there's a certain section of the song that feels too high, just sing alto on that phrase and then go back to soprano. Don't, don't feel like, oh gosh, I can't sing this or it's, this really strains my voice. Just jump around. If, if you can sing the whole thing, great, but feel free to jump around and sing another part that suits your voice better on a certain phrase. Okay, let's do tenors and basses together and then we'll talk about the middle people. Here's tenor and bass. To be a rock and not to roll. So there's a middle note, it splits, just going into measure 78, there splits a middle note. So if you want that one, feel free to sing it. If you're coming from the bass part, it would be, ah, ah, ah. it would stay on the C. Bum, 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 bum. If you're coming from the tenor, it would be, bum, 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 bum. And you end up on the middle. I don't want to make too much of a deal out of that. Just grab it if you want it. Okay, altos. Here comes altos. Same spot, rolling into 73. So altos, most of them go down. Dum 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 dum. But the one the going into seventy eight stays on the same note. Bum 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 bum. So the pattern changes a little bit. Let's try bass, tenor, and alto together. Thank you for your patience, sopranos. I know you're sitting out for a minute here. Rolling into seventy three. To be a rock and not to roll. Sopranos, can I hear you please? Same spot. Here comes Sopranos. To be rocking on to So that was the top soprano part. Here's the middle part, which might be uh, better for some of you. Listen to this one. To be rocking, not to roll. There's poopoo -poo in the grass. Grandma's got to get it up. Here we go. The t the two soprano parts together, please. To be rocking, not to roll.
Now let's try all the parts together. So at 73, here's the bass note. Tenor, alto, middle, soprano. Tenor, sorry, bass, tenor, alto, middle, soprano. Here's all the parts rolling into this section. To be rocking, not to roll. Okay, now let's go back a section. Let's go to 63. This is bottom of 13. How everything still turns to go old. How everything still turns to gold. The sopranos have a little bit different rhythm on the word gold. They say, how everything still turns to go old. They have a little moving part. But everybody else says, how everything still turns to gold. Turn the page, top of uh, 14. And if you listen very hard, that rhythm is different. And if you listen very hard, the tune will come to you at last. Just do that. those three phrases. Let's start at 63. Just speak it with me. I know this is easy for some of you, but for some of you it's not. 63, 2, 3, bottom 13. How everything still turns to gold. And if you listen very hard, the tune will come to you at last. When all are one and one is all, to be a rock and not to roll. Then we're at 73 where we just started a minute ago. So most of the rhythms are this. Ba, 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 ba. Almost all of them are that, except for a few exceptions. Just say this with me. Ba, 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 ba. Clap it two, three, and four, and. Ba, 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 ba. Most of them fit that rhythm, okay? Let's go to 63 now and isolate the the bases. Let me roll into it with this. Let me see where I'm at. Turn off the tenor, turn off the alto and soprano. Who shines white light and wants to show? So I, as you can hear, I'm rolling it from um, 61 just to get you ready. Here's the bases. Who shines white light and wants to show? How everything still turns to gold And if you listen very hard So prior to this, they've all been ba 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 And suddenly, top of 14, measure 65, it changes. And if you listen very hard That's the one that's different. Here we go, same place again, rolling into 63. Who shines white light and wants to show how everything still turns to gold And if you listen very hard The tune will come to you at last When all are one and one is on To be a rock and not to roll can you hear the can you hear the voice part okay over the band? Like is it is it loud enough to be helpful? Okay, same place, one more time, basses. Who shines white light and wants to show how everything still turns to gold. And if you listen very hard, the tune will come to you at last. Hey, that can be our rehearsal motto. If you listen very hard, the tune will come to you at last. That's really what we're all about here. Here goes again. Who shines white light and wants to show How everything still turns to gold And if you listen very hard 
Nothing will come to you at last When all I want and one is all To be a rock and not to roll ah. Okay, tenor, same spot. How do you feel about the fact that we're singing words now? I feel kind of excited about it. Tenors, here it comes. Who shines white light and wants to show how everything still turns to gold? And if you listen very hard, the tune will come to you at last. When all the one and one is all to be rock and not to roll. Same thing again, tenors. Who shines white light and wants to show how everything still turns to gold. And if you listen very hard, the tune will come to you at last. When all the one and one is all to the rock and not to roll. Good. Tenors and basses together. I'm going to try muting the track for a minute, so it's just going to be clicking voices. Who shines white light and... Sorry, here comes the basses too. Who shines white light and wants to show... Go. How everything still turns to gold. And if you listen very hard, the tune will come to you at last. When all are one and one is all To be a rock and not to roll ah. Altos, let me hear you please Try this click and voice only thing Who shines with light and wants to show Here comes 63 altos How everything still turns to gold And if you listen very hard Oops she sang the rhythm wrong. I just heard it. Should be. And if you listen, and if you listen very hard, I might need to edit that and re-upload the track, huh? Who, who shines my light and wants to show how everything still turns to gold? And if you listen very hard, I'll fix that one. Let's try bass, tenor, and alto together with the understanding that that one phrase is wrong in the alto. Here it comes. Who shines white light and wants to show how everything still turns to gold. And if you listen very hard, the tune will come to you at last. When all are one and one is all. To be a rock and not to roll. Ah. Good. Now let's talk about the sopranos. At the beginning of this section, there's only one soprano part. How everything, how everything still turns to gold. Try that line. How everything still turns to gold. And then top of 14, you got two choices. And if you listen very hard. Or, and if you listen very hard. You've got a middle part there. And then from, from there out, you've got the two choices, the top and the middle. And then at measure 69, they added an even higher part. The little bitty notes there at, at measure 69, that's for, for the people that are able to sing those higher notes. So for now, let's try the, the middle people, middle sopranos. I'm going to mute the altos and tenors and basses. This is the middle sopranos. Who shines my light and wants to show how everything sometimes to go.
it's the same as the middle part of the guys, which are the tenors and basses, which we didn't rehearse. So that's sort of self-explanatory. Here's the upper part, sopranos, and then you get to decide what which one you're going to sing. Who, who shines like light and wants to shine? Sixty-three. How everything so takes to go. Top of fourteen. One thing I like about Leah's rehearsal tracks is that she is a really good demonstration of singing in her head voice. She doesn't push. She doesn't push her chest voice up high. She flips over into head voice. So what you're hearing is the right is a, a model of the right sound. Okay, let's do the, the, the two soprano parts and then we'll put it all together. Oh, who shines my light and wants to show? Let's try putting all the parts in. So starting at 63, here's the bass note, tenor, alto, soprano. But what you're going to hear is the track rolling two measures before that. So bass, tenor, alto, soprano. Who shines my light and wants to show? Are you exhausted? Kind of cool, right? It's pretty epic, pretty epic ending. I'll tell you something funny. For for reasons I won't get in, go into, the the ladies that I hire to sing these tracks, we I didn't have them sing measure 85 on the last page. I forgot about it accidentally. Because the accompaniment track that I was working with didn't have this ending. And so when I was making the rehearsal tracks, I was like, oh, darn, I don't have that last chord. What am I going to do? And sometimes I have my wife or my daughters come down and say, if there's a mistake or a patch job, I'll, ha I'll say, hey, come down and sing this real quick. And the only one that was home was my 12 year old. So I had her sing the last. <laughs> I had her sing the last chord. If you look at the bottom of the last page, this is this is 12 tracks of my 12 year old. She came down for like three and a half minutes and I said, just sing, sing this note. Ah, uh, and I hit the button. Ah, uh, sing it two more times. Ah, uh, now sing this note. Ah, uh, now sing this note. And this is what it sounds like. Can you tell that's a 12 year old? Okay, let's go back. Let's kind of start this whole section back at 55. So I think now that you've kind of got the gist of it and the parts are repetitive enough, I think you might be able to go from 55 without too much rehearsal because the, the parts all have the same shape and contour throughout. So I'm rolling at, you know, 50, I'm rolling at 53. See how you do, and then we'll talk about what you need. Oh, oh, and as we wind on down the road. See where I am, middle of 12. Two measures before 55. Here it comes. Oh, 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 oh,
and as we wind on down the road, our shadows taller than our soul, there walks a lady we all know, who shines one light and wants to show, how everything still turns to gold, and if you listen very hard, Till I come to you at last When all I want and what is all To be a rock and not to roll ah, 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 ah. Let's take some drugs and write a song. I don't know what the song's about. These these epic rock anthems are funny to me because it's like, what, what, what are we talking about? It's very mysterious. There's a lady, there's a sword. We're out of lyrics now, but we're gonna do ah. Uh... Hey, how'd you do on that? This it's it's kind of repetitive. So once you kind of get the gist of your, the shape of your part and the that one rhythm that keeps recurring, obviously there's a couple of spots where it's different. The one phrase that I think is tricky is middle of thirteen, who shines white light and wants to show. That one has a delay syncopation that's different than all the others. Who shines white light and wants to show. That one might trip you up if you're not ready for it. But then. Most of the others are ba 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 ba, and then the other one that's different is top of fourteen, and if you listen very hard, that one is a different rhythm. Okay, um, how are we feeling on fifty-five to the end? Feel like you're kind of getting it? Great. Generally, general thumbs up. Let's go to Scarborough Fair, please. Larry Shackley also has a beard and no mustache, so he kind of has that Amish look. And I just thought you would want to know that. <laughs> oh my goodness. The things that come into my brain, perhaps I should filter them. Perhaps I shouldn't say them out loud. I should just think them. <laughs> you're more fun without the filters, Paul. So <laughs> let it go. Uh, you're the first person that's ever said that. Most people say, hey, put the filter back on. Okay. Scarborough Fair. Let's work back to front, as is my want. Um, let's go from Let's go from a middle of eight. Are you uh, where the where the sopranos and altos have the melody? Let me find. Let me turn this on alto and soprano and piano so i'll roll it in the 80s somewhere let me see here i think this is two bars before that here comes two bars of four uh, 83 one, ready, go. Are you going to Scarborough Fair? Our sleazy shows very untied. Remember me to one who lives there. She once was. Just the altos, same spot. <laughs> 
starting middle of nine, uh, starting middle of eight. Altos ready, go. Altos, let me hear you top of uh, nine. Remember me, Altos, a one, two. Remember me to one who lives there. She once was a true love of mine. Man, Alan, Alan sends me such funny messages in the chat. He sends them to me as private messages, but man, they make me laugh. Same thing, altos, top of nine, a one, two. Remember me to one who lives there. She once was a true love of mine. Okay, back to middle of eight, altos and sopranos together, please. Bases, you guys come in top of nine. The, the, the sopranos and altos sing the opening two phrases, and then basses come in on remember me. One, two, remember me to one who lives there. She once was a true love of mine. Basses and baritones, or oh, one, two. Remember me to one who lives there. She once was a true love of mine. Tenor, same spot. Last measure, top of nine. Tenors. One, two. Remember me to one who lives there. She once was a true love of mine. Once again, tenors. One, two, remember me to one who lives there. She once was a true love of mine. Let's try tenors and basses together. This is two measures before that entrance, tenors and basses, and your starting notes are bass and tenor. Here we go. One, two. Remember me to one who lives there. She once was a true love of mine. Once again. One, two. voices so I'll park it two bars out sopranos and altos lead us in and then tenors and basses join us top of the next page one ready go Same thing. 
thing again, I'm going to cut the piano out. And so it's just going to be clicking voices, but you might be able to hear the voices a little more clearly that way. Here it comes. Two, three, one, ready, sing. Are you going to Now let's learn this next little bit. Top of page 10, basses have this. Parsley, sage, rosemary, sage, rosemary, and thyme. Such a beautiful piece of writing. I know I keep saying that, but. Here go basses, top of ten. One, two, three, parsley, sage, rosemary, sage, rosemary, and thyme. So the logical place to breathe, I think, is after re at the top of the page. Mary, breathe, sage, rosemary, and thyme. Once again, basses. One, two, three, parsley, sage, rosemary, sage, rosemary, and thyme. Two, three, four, five, six, off. Tenors, let me hear you. One, two, three. Parsley, sage, rosemary, sage, rosemary, and time two, three, four, five, six, off again, tenors, one, two. Parsley, sage, rosemary, sage, rosemary, and Let's try those two parts, a cappella, with the click. Bass and tenor, let me turn off alto and soprano. Here comes rolling into that. My parsley, sage, rosemary, sage, rosemary, and thyme. So I guess I didn't breathe when I made the tracks. It's kind of up to you if you need a breath there. Here's the same spot. My parsley, sage, rosemary, sage, rosemary, and thyme. Altos, let me hear you top a 10. One, ready, go. Parsley, sage, rosemary. Sage, rosemary, and thyme. Once again, altos, one, ready, and parsley, sage, rosemary, sage, rosemary, and thyme. Let's try the bottom three parts. This is coming in from two measures before that. My parsley, sage, rosemary, sage, rosemary, and thyme. Okay, let me turn down the tenors a little bit and turn up the altos a little bit. Same thing again. My parsley, sage, rosemary. Sopranos, top of ten. One, ready, and parsley, sage, rose. Sorry, parsley, sage, and thyme. Your words are up above. 
Sorry about that. One, ready, good. Parsley, sage, and thyme, rosemary, and thyme, sage, and thyme. Once again, sopranos. One, ready, and. Parsley, sage, and thyme, rosemary, and thyme, sage, and thyme. Let's try the sopranos by themselves real quick. Let me turn off the other parts. This is rolling in from two bars previous. Once again, sopranos. Basis by yourselves from the two previous measures. My parsley, sage, rosemary, sage, rosemary, and thyme. Basis and sopranos. My parsley, sage, Tenors by yourselves, please. My parsley, sage, rosemary, sage, rosemary, and thyme. Bass, tenor, and, sorry, bass, soprano, and tenor. My parsley, sage, Altos by yourselves, please. Here comes. Altos again. All the parts, here comes. Now go back to middle of eight, where we kind of started rehearsing this ending section. Here's two bars before your entrance, sopranos and altos. Where you, where you have the melody, are you going? Middle of uh, eight. Two, three, one, ready, sing. Are you going to Scarborough Fair? Parsley, So, uh, out. Bass, tenor, and alto, are you getting your starting note on the phrase, remember? The basses have, remem, the tenors have, remem, and the altos have, remem. Okay, I'm going to go back to the same starting place. Two, three, one, ready, sing. Are you going to Scarborough Keep 
going just for fun. Are you going to Scarborough, Scarborough, Scarborough Fair? So the way it ends, soprano, um, suddenly my piano stopped working, I don't know why. Sopranos, are you going to Scarborough, Scarborough Fair? Actually, it's Sopranos and Altos together. Let's try it. Are you going to Scarborough? And a little breath after that, so put a comma after Scarborough. Scarborough, Scarborough Fair. And then you hold the word fair for about a year. When they get to the word fair, the basses have Scarborough Fair, bum, 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 bum. And the tenors have bum, 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 bum. Okay, so let's go top of that page. I'm gonna roll it at 109, and we'll just kind of learn, do this ending section. And just when I start to see you blacking out, it's when I do the cutoff. Okay, let's go back now. This could we could start at top of eight because we've learned this little section at top of eight, where the bases have true love of mine. A true love of mine. And the tenors have true love of mine. A true love of mine. Altos have true love of mine. A true love of mine. So I'm going to roll it at top of eight. That's measure 75. So I'll park it two measures before that. Here's two before 75. This is rolling into top of eight. Of ready, ready, sing. True love of mine, a true love of mine. So everybody see where I am? Here comes again. One, two, three, one, ready, sing. True love of mine, a true love of mine. Two, three, one, two. Sopranos and altos. Are you going to Scarborough And a one. Parsley, One, two. Remember me to one who is there. She once was a true love of Sweet 